guys, it's Erin aka Story Chan and I'm back with another video. So I thought I would do a little bit something of childhood today. We're gonna talk about childhood and basically childhood crushes. And everyone had like a weird, a couple of weird childhood crushes. Where, but these childhood crushes are of the animated anime 2D variety. So I made a list of my top five. These are from shows all from the sort of early 2000s era so some of you might not know them but if you do yay if you don't know them you can have a little google and see what they're all about they're all on my rainbow phone of poo and i got my shuki keyring and i've got my harry potter keyring weird childhood crushes so number five is zuko from avatar so if you don't know avatar where have you been it's kind of been everywhere i love prince zuko like i love the fire nation <laughs> I like I think if I was in the Avatar universe I would be all about fire even though I do identify as a mermaid sometimes so like because I like water I do actually like fire because like it's burny and I could be like a dragon I could be a dragon mermaid a drag maid no <laughs> okay but no I I really love Zuko. I loved him in like the last season, I think it was like the final season where he had like the long sort of bang hair. I was like, <gasps> I was shook off because I was like going through my emo scene phase at the time and I was just like, oh my heart. It literally bled. It bled rainbows, it bled baths, it bled everything. Like, I saw one of them get with, um, with the girl character. I forgot what she's called. Katara. Yeah, I really wanted them two to get together. I shipped. Yes, I shipped Zutara when I was younger. Don't cringe at me. Number four is Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. So Dragon... Oop, I just kind of dropped my phone. So Dragon Ball Z came out when I was about six or seven years old. And I was like, I used to really get into it. I loved Vegeta. I just loved his sass and I just loved the voice he had. I just thought his voice was like very, very powerful voice. And it was up here like this, like Kakarot. And I still watched the... Uh, Dragon Ball Z Bridge. I've actually met Team Four Star and they're really nice guys. But no, I used to watch that and Pokemon. They, they were the first two animes I watched when I was like little and I just fell in love with Vegeta. I don't know. I just have a thing for like the Sundere characters. Like I normally don't go for like the, the, the good guys or the like the, the heroes. I always go for the villains or the Sundere's or the Yandere's because I'm weird like that. I just love the his and Bulma's relationship. And you know they have Trunks, and Trunks takes after his dad in the looks department. Him and Vegeta were my favorite characters. I did like Goku, but I liked Vegeta and Trunks more. Well. A lot of people might not know this one is Raimundo from Shaolin Showdown. Shaolin Showdown. I'm trying to say that five times really fast. So it was a. It wasn't really an anime. It was more like a cartoon. But I had such a thing for Raimundo because it's just the way he was drawn, and I was just like. <gasps> I was shook up. I was like, oh my god, I love this. Like, I, I, if you don't know what Shaolin Showdown was, it was about a group of monks, um, from, like, a group of them, um, people get trained to become monks and they go after different, um, they go after different things, like, that have magical powers and they have to fight against this guy, normally a lot called Jack Spicer, use it, called Shaolin Showdowns, where they would fight using these, these, objects. I think that's the story. I haven't watched it in years, but I loved Raimundo. I remember when there was the episode where Raimundo went nearly evil, I think, and I was just like, no! Like, how could you do that to me? Childhood Eren was not happy that day. Number two is Kai Hiwatari from Beyblade. Now, okay, if you, you are not a child of the millennial era or 90s, if you did not have a crush on Kai Hiwatari, just like, look at that. It was all of my things. I think that's where I, he was just like one of my first, I would say husbandos that I had like such an attraction to. I was just like, he had blue hair, he had shark fins, he was a punk goth looking character. Um, he had a phoenix. He was sort of like the loner type, but like I just wanted to be friends with him because he was cool. Everyone liked Ty Everyone in my school like used to really like Tyson O'Reilly, but I was just uh, the only Kai Hiwatari fan girl in my class. So everyone used to be like, oh, how can you like the villain? I'm like, cause he's cool, okay? And I had um, the Dronza Beyblade. I think my boy, actually one year, I think it was last year or a year before my boyfriend actually got me the Dronza Beyblade. It's somewhere in my house and I was just like, <gasps> I was just like, yay. But I love it, I love Beyblade. Beyblade was life. That was like my, I would say that was like my Coronation Street 
which is a UK TV soap opera. It was like my soap opera. I, I like know what happened, especially when Kai, the, I'm going to spoil the treasure. Kai basically goes evil near the end of the episode, near the end of the season, but he does go back to being a good guy. And I was just like, no, how can you do that? I was so sad, like I cried. Like I was about seven or eight when there was episodes in and I cried when he went evil like I was I felt so betrayed it was I was like you betrayed me how could you do this I don't have a bad attitude maybe I am angry inside I've been through stuff so I'm angry yeah but it's not this is not be okay, quiet but to everybody be quiet look. that's what is I'm wrong with you but you're not stop not it I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this when my mother yells at this it's because she loves me I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? But yes, I got. I felt like I'd just been like stabbed in the heart repeatedly, like so many times by him. I was like, as I, like, I am numb. And then like V Force, I love the um, design of him in V Force. And um, in G Revolution, I love the design there. But like my favorite design of him is obviously original because I just love the arm things. Like I would love to do like a female cosplay of Kai, but like it would take a lot of effort to make. And I can't make shit very well. But yes, Kai is ult is there. This is number one. My ultimate childhood crush that has swooned me and still swoons me to this day. <sighs> Do not judge me for this. Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, I can hear the judgment already. Like Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh, can we just say, damn. <laughs> like, I I mean, every, I like Nia, I like Yugi and I like Niami and Marek was okay. I love Bakura. Like, it was, it's literally like Bakura and Seto Kaiba shared this position because I love them both the same. But I like, <laughs> I think in the universe I would be a Kaiba because he has like, he's rich and he has like, he has a thing for dragons and I just love dragons. So it's just like, <gasps> Yeah, just everything he rides is a blue eyes white dragon shape. It's like he has a plane that's blue eyes, a blue eyes white dragon. He just has loads of things that are blue eyes white dragon. And then he created his own monster called Kyberman in GX. I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> but um, no, I love Kaiba. Uh, I love his backstory. I love his like. He's not really. He's like an anti-hero, but like, and I just want to hug him at times, especially when you find out like what he's gone through and everything. It's like, I just want to give him a hug. Like I like if, I would love it to get like a Yu-Gi-Oh Seto Kaiba plushie, but there's like none. There's only ones for Yami, and I'm like kind of bummed. Like if anyone can knows if there's any Seto Kaiba plushies, please put a comment so I can go and get it, please. Or anyone who makes plushies, can you make me a Seto Kaiba one, and I will give you infinite love and a shout out and everything. Yes. But those are my five. I didn't ten. Ugh. Those are my five childhood crushes from. The old childhood, but yes, they're 2D, they're animated. I have a thing for 2D animated then. I was weird, and I still do have crushes on fictional characters, it hasn't changed at all. But yeah, guys, if you do like this video, please give it a like, that'd be awesome. And if you do love it, please subscribe to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and if you don't like it, who are you? Why watch the video? Go eat Poppy and smile. But yes, I will see you in the next video, which is coming out soon, so I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye!